Namaste beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga. I'm Ali and today we're doing Libra, the scales, the balance. So Libra is the seventh sign of the zodiac. We completed the first six signs, which is the first half of the zodiac, which is the development of the personality. With Libra, we come to a place of um, repositioning, recollecting ourselves, even a place of um, um, somewhat of a rest before we depart on the journey of development of the soul. And this is in terms of evolutionary and soul astrology. So after completing the personality level of the zodiac, we come to the exact opposite place in Libra, the seventh sign away from the Aries, the self. So here we are in the you. In Aries we are in the I, here in, we are in the you area. In the you area of the um, zodiac, we get the vantage point of looking at the other, at the you objectively so we can establish the right relationships now this goes beyond just the relationship between uh, the i and the you this goes for relationships in general between the soul and the personality between opposites that is building up on the previous air sign gemini where it was the relationships between everything the connection between everything through love is Venus was the sole ruler of Gemini. Here in Libra, a masculine sign ruled by Venus, the goddess, we uh, seek for beauty and harmony within the relationships. And as I said, those are relationships, the establishing the right relationships between opposites, harmonizing opposite things, harmonizing separate things, harmonizing the personality with the soul and also establishing law but natural law we're not talking about human law because human law oftentimes can uh, be non-harmonious uh, not in harmony with nature so in Libra we're concerned with the right relationships really the right uh, relationships I said it many times because it is um, really important and finding that balance where we harmonize with nature with the external world with the other and because the soul ruler here coming from the personality level ruler is Venus finding that beauty in the relationships the soul ruler is Uranus which takes us over all the way to Aquarius 11th house and that is the humanitarian area so those right relationships are here to benefit humanity so here we start to do things not for ourselves and not to benefit our own selves but we establish the right relationships in order to benefit humanity this is the point of departure for the return we're halfway through the journey and this is the point of departure for the return we're having the vantage point of looking at the beginning at the start of the journey and having the capacity to understand it and also to begin to look at the personality and the soul and to harmonize them we're also taking a little bit of a rest here because we're preparing for scorpio where is the second battle we have two battles in astrology the first is the battle for for the self for the personality the self the individualization of the person in leo and the second is the battle for the soul in scorpio so before we go into the intensity and the depth of intimacy in scorpio we're gonna take a moment to find the right relationships the right way in libra so that we can depart from a place of Libra ruling the mind as an air sign it is an air sign so everything comes from the mind here this is um, not only abstract uh, thought but it's also um, independent thinking looking at things from a um, non-emotional place really establishing um, a connection with the external world from a place that feels harmonious and right now, with Uranus being the ruler of Libra, as you know, Uranus is a rapid, erratic change. So in Libra, even though um, it is said that Libra is the balance, Libra is always 
seeking for the balance it's looking for the balance but it doesn't mean it is the balance because this is the search for the balance and even when the balance is established the soul always looks for that um, radical change radical shift um, it is absolutely electric the change of Uranus so on the soul level for the soul to really establish and uh, express itself in a Libran uh, we're gonna have this radical <laughs> radical shift so Libra is a really difficult someone asked me which one would be the most difficult to do as far as the yoga poses I feel that maybe is not the most difficult one to do Libra but as far as conceptualizing it I would say here uh, it, it is quite challenging and Libra for me of course is the opposite of Aries so this is I'm looking exactly across the way at Libra with myself and actually opposites a little um, um, opposites are a little easier to balance than squares so even though it's the opposite there is quite a bit of similarities because there is again a cardinal sign and the exact half midway point anyways i think i talked enough about libra the right relationship is the theme of the class and also finding and looking and searching and seeking for balance so let's remember to flow with strength and ease starting at the front of the mat we're going to be using a block for this class so if you don't have a block a ball would work a weighted ball would work also or even any type of weight would work for most of the poses or nothing you don't have to use anything if you don't have a prop but if you have a block bring it in and place it in front of your mat all right roll the shoulders back and down establish the right connection with the earth feet pointing forward and really feeling each and every point of your part of your foot connecting to the earth grounding and from the feet we begin to build up we build we feel the knees we feel the hips harmonizing the hips just by bringing awareness to them opening the chest palms of the hands facing forward chin parallel to the floor lengthening the back of the neck widening the back upper back shoulder blades tucking in establishing connection with the core breath you can sway back and forth and feel your balance feel the midpoint where balance is really easy to maintain it takes no effort to maintain it that is when the scales are in complete balance and by the way Libra is the only sign in the zodiac that is symbolized by a non-animate object the scales and thus symbolizing harmony and balance and the palms of the hands facing up you will bend your fingers just at the midpoint so not at not completely at the second knuckle and you can stick your thumbs slightly out energizing the thumbs press your hands slightly back and we're gonna keep the palms of the hands straight up as if you have water in them and you don't want to spill it and we're gonna draw circles backwards one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty let's turn the palms down and again we're gonna 
circle towards the thumb so forward one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine thirty here we're gonna keep that same alignment of the fingers and bring them at the temples we're gonna close the elbows and open try to elongate lift lengthen through the elbows so the elbows are pulling away from each other widening the back drop the shoulder blades into the back so if there is all kinds of crookedness happening here find that relaxed strong back position shoulder position we're gonna close and open you can fold your thumbs here close and open as usual i'm treating you to the latest themes from the membership so those are all some of the classes we've been working on lots of we focused on a lot of physical therapy therapeutic inspired classes balancing the body in a very liberal style finding the hip and shoulder balance breathe A few more. Great. Open the hands and bring them behind the head. This is a note favorite of mine. You're gonna press the elbows back so they're almost behind your chest and lift through your chest up. This is one of my favorite poses, especially if you feel that your posture is not perfect. Amazing that you can work on your posture and who can't? So this really opens up the upper back chest area. Lift through the heart, press the elbows back, lengthen the back of the neck. Lift, lift, lift. Great. Exhale the hands behind, interlacing. Open, look, and exhale, forward fold. You can shake your head here. Look over to the right and left. Come halfway up, hands still pressing. If that's too much for you, you can um, grab something in between the hands, like a t-shirt, a strap. So from here, we're gonna bend the knees and take the right shoulder up. Back to center, left, lengthen through the crown. Back to center, we're gonna shift the weight onto the right leg and take the left leg back into high lunge. And we're going to turn the right shoulder up in a twist side lunge style pose. Great. Come up to standing and glide your hand on the outside of the left hip. We'll go over the right shoulder. And look forward. Warrior three. Standing, wrap your left leg around and we're gonna bring the hands in prayer midpoint point of balance and release here you can just shake it out now this is because these times of human history really requires to continuously shake it out so that the body comes back to its balance, equilibrium, point of emptiness. All right, hands behind, interlacing the fingers, take a squat or a chair. Shift the weight onto the left leg, take the right leg back and take the left shoulder up, lengthening through the crown of the head. The spine is elongating here. And come up gliding the hands on the outside of the right hip look over the shoulder lengthen through the crown of the head and 
look ahead of you, warrior three. Come up to standing, wrap it around, sit back, prayer. side to side just letting everything soften and relax so when we talk about the right relationship here we're talking about the right relationships in every way possible with the other with the self with the path with the soul with humanity with the earth and it continues and here they're ruled on a personality level by beauty so there is great concern about harmony beauty and grace and libras are quite famous for always being very beautiful very pretty often the word is in one way or another classic or not classic way and stepping at the front where scorpio is known for being very magnetic all right inhale the hands exhale folding inhale look ahead plank here we're going to step the right foot between the hands Draw a circle with the right hand and step it right back. Opposite. Step it right back. A few more of those. And plank. Chaturanga. Up dog. Chaturanga down dog inhale the right leg up step it through grab your block in front of you and press it between the palms of the hands and come up high lunge drop the shoulders down so now i want you to really pay attention to your shoulders so they're not wrapping around your ears we're dropping them down and and placing, tucking the shoulder blades into the back. And here we're going to open the arms out, blocking the right hand, but if it's in the other one, don't worry about it. We'll keep shifting over the head. Two. Three. Four. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Step at the front. Wrap your left leg around the right. Squeeze the block in front of you. Hands pressing in. Drop the shoulders down. This should be <laughs> work. Reach over the head and back down. Two, three, four, five, step back in high lunge, reach in front of you and we're gonna twist, one, two, three, four, five, 
straight elbows please six seven shoulders down nine ten great straight back step at the front leave your block on the floor so we can shake it out so focus on your heels drop down soft knees this is I have a class called shamanic shaking it was the whole class of shaking if you think about it dogs shake it off anytime there is an emotional trauma that can linger in the body they shake it out of the tissue all right inhale over the head exhale dive inhale look ahead of you plank spread the fingers wide open and twist your hips one two three four five six seven eight nine ten chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog take the left leg up step it between the hands grab your block straight back come up and let's open two passing the block straight elbows drop the shoulders three shoulder blades tap in four five this is like the scales six seven eight and hold and we're gonna stop step at the front wrap around squeeze the block in front and hold squeeze it until it's burning drop the shoulders down no tension in the shoulders we're using muscles here <sighs> trying to establish proper alignment <sighs> and reach over the head and lower reach lower reach lower reach lower reach lower unwrap step it back and we're gonna twist here try to maintain balance as you twist feel the core feel the spine two three drop the shoulders elbow straight both of them five six seven eight nine ten and stepping it at the front drop the block down with a straight back that lift style forward fold sweeping the hands over the head exhale hands over the heart back to the equilibrium equilibrium libra equilibrium and let's take chair exhale folding inhale look ahead chaturanga up dog and you can rock the hips here look back at your toes and back to chaturanga 
down dog. Inhale the right leg up and open the hip. Lift. Well thing. Side plank. In here we're gonna lift, almost arching the body. Bring the hand behind the head and open the chest. And again, arch. Hand behind the head, lift. Arch, lift, let's do two more of those. Arch, lift, arch, lift. One legged plank, right leg in the air. Right knee to the right elbow, one, two, three, four, five, hold, step it through. And here we're gonna take the block, and come up into warrior two. Straight back. Take the block with your right hand. And we're gonna pass it. One, or this is two, rather. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. is a weighted block there's a little bit of weight to it and let's place the block by the inside of the right foot take side angle here and over the head Take a plank right hand on the flatter part of the block and we're gonna take a chaturanga and pass the block on the other side or push up chaturanga pass it one last time lift the block in front of your mat vinyasa chaturanga down dog, take the left leg up. Well thing. Side plank. Reaching over, arching. Hand behind, lifting through the chest. Arch, lift. Arch, lift. Arch, lift, arch, lift. One legged plank, left heel up, knee to left elbow. One, two, three, four, five squeeze. Step it through, prepare your block, and straight back, come up. Warrior two. And let's go. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. 
seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Hold it. All right, I can handle it. It is quite intense. Side angle. Reach over the head length. Push-ups, one, pass it over to the other side, two, three, four, leave the block behind, knees on the ground, right hand underneath the left shoulder, place it on the ground, you know, Inversion of a twist. Opposite side. Forest. Spread the fingers open, drop the chest between the shoulders, chest open, back wide. We're gonna lift the knees off the floor and take the right knee up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Opposite side to one, two, Three, four, squeeze the belly, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, child's pose. Let the shoulders drop here. Inhale the hands over the head, lay onto your belly. Press all 10 toes down, aligning the legs so we're not just pressing the big toes. Open the arms out to your sides like a bird. You can place the fingers down, bending at the elbow slightly, press the toes down and lift the upper body. Lower down. Here we're gonna lift the legs, alternating one, two, the left one, right, left, right, left, right, left. One more time, lift the upper body. Great, and coming to all fours. Again, we're going to widen the chest, drop it between the shoulders, take the right leg back, left arm forward. Try to level and square the hips. Change. 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 change 
in, take your toes under, down dog. Take the right leg up, step it through, warrior one. Exhale the hands behind, fingers interlacing, open the chest. Warrior three. Coming up into three pose with the scales on each side. Feeling the balance and the details to, to it. So when we talk here about law, we're not talking about human law, but rather divine law. All right, let's bring the knee up and step it back in high lunge, hands in prayer twist. Come out of the twist, hands behind the head, step at the front. And here you can optionally step on the left foot or keep it the entire time in the air. We're going to bring it to the right elbow and release. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, feel the core, eight, nine, 10, step it down, hands in prayer. Back to balance. Inhale, reach over the head. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead of you. Inhale, we're gonna go into crow. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog, take the left leg up. Step it through, warrior one. Hands behind, you can reverse the clasp, open. Warrior three. Coming up to standing, three pose. Feeling the midpoint, the axis. You can close the eyes momentarily. Feel all the work that it takes to keep the balance. And let's step it back. High lunge. And simple twist. Drop the shoulders down, lengthen through the crown of the head. And here we're going to take a little closer stance and lower the chest over the left leg. Try to level the and square the hips both. Let's bend the right knee and push the butt back, the hips back, pull the toes in, stretching here. Take that stretch into the glutes, guide it with intention. Great, step at the front, forward fold. Come halfway up, 
take the left leg back level square the hips lower down Push the hips back, bend the left knee. Again, square the hips, pull the toes back. Step at the front, yogic squat. Wrap the hands around the right leg, look over the left shoulder. Opposite side. Forward fold. Shake the head, smile. Inhale, sweeping the hands over the head, exhale, over the heart. Inhale, reaching over the head, exhale, folding. Inhale, look ahead, crawl. Chaturanga, up dog. Chaturanga, down dog. breath Inhale the right leg up, step it at the front, take the right arm off, twist. Come up in the twist, Quite the right hand down the left leg, lift. Exhale the left hand at the front, revolving half. Both hands on the floor, kitchen. Open the chest, level the hips, lower down. Keeping the spine elongated.
Here you are coming up. Walk over to your right. Back into one legged down dog. You can draw a circle or two with your right leg, right knee. Take the left leg up, step it through. Mm. Lunge with a twist, take the left arm up and come up. Left hand down the right leg, twist and lift. Exhale the right hand. Here I have my ball, but you don't know, have to. Revolving half moon. Exhale the hands down. Pigeon. Open the chest, lifting the rib cage, flexing the foot, lower down. Coming up, elongating the spine. Look over to your left. Maybe a circle or two with your knee. Step it down, grab your block, bring the mid width side of the block between your knees and take force with the knees off the floor and I'm gonna pendulum the knees but at the same time give it a gentle squeeze nothing too hard one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine twenty one two three four five six seven eight nine forty one two three four five six seven eight nine 50. And we're going to sit in a rather difficult pose. So L, L seated. Make yourself even on your sit bones. Pull the belly in, lengthen through the crown of the head. Pull your toes in. Chin parallel to the floor and just observe the balance here. Quite, quite difficult to, there's nowhere to cheat here or compensate. Everything is, the two sides are working. Continue pulling the toes, push the femur is back into the hips. Hands behind you, reverse plank. Sit. 
sit it back down. Here we're gonna bring the left knee to the right foot. Switch a few times. Let's rebalance the hips. And lay down. Wow. Shoulder stand. Knees over the ears. Roll out. Bend the knees. Lay onto your left side. Bring your hands together. Knees at 90 degrees. Knees on top of each other. We're gonna take the right hand up and over to balance the shoulders. Try to keep the knees there. Breathe into all the action that's happening here to the structure. Shoulders back, hips. towards your right hand. And closing it in and changing it out, opposite side. Try to somewhat balance or find the 90 degree angle in your knees and let's open. Keep that, the knees stacked on top of each other and soften here. It's quite a balancing pose for the upper back as well. It really affects the entire spine of course. It's, it's so interrelated, interconnected. Close it back, grab your block, lay onto your back, place your ball block. Under your tailbone. Right from here, so the block, you can position it either along the long side or 
the white side under the sacrum. We're gonna extend the left leg, keep the toes straight up or straight forward, but just don't open the leg to the side so that we're focusing on the very front part of the leg. And we're gonna take the right knee in and we'll hold here for just a moment. Feel free to pause the video and stay here for two, two minutes or so. We're gonna stay a little shorter. This is stretching the sauce. Of course, the hip flexor, a little bit of the quads, it's balancing the hips and the pelvic girdle and SI joint and the entire structure. I'm doing a whole series of therapeutic poses on the membership, so you're welcome to join if you're not there. We're gonna really focus on slow classes. Here I'm trying to incorporate some of these classes within the vinyasa so that we can work on balancing, but at the same time do full class that is a standing vinyasa. I love to switch out, switch up the poses, incorporate really different elements in different classes. Here with time, especially in the more therapeutic classes, a lot of opening happens. The muscles begin to let go in waves, in stages. The hips, the shoulders, they're an example of uh, balance in the body. So we worked both on the shoulders and the hips today. For some balancing poses. Really um, thinking about the right relationships is a very, very, um, it's an abstract concept. It is a concrete idea though. All right, release the right leg. <sighs> Straighten it, bend the left knee. So we're gonna readjust here for a moment before we bring it in because we've been stretching here so we don't wanna flex right away. Give your muscle a moment to adjust. You're already stretching on the right side. Whenever you're ready, whenever you feel that your muscle is ready, you can bring your knee in and keep your right leg straight so not opening to the side. So because Libra removes itself from the I, now here we're in the domain of the you, the relationships domain, interpersonal relationships, but with Uranus in this area, on a soul level becomes humanitarian relationships, very similar or not similar, but a connection here with Aquarius. And of course, connection with Gemini, where we found all the relationships between everything the connecting parts, the connecting thread, the thread of light. Breathe into your hip flexor. Psoas is the muscle that runs the deepest in the body and connects the top and the bottom of the body. Also symbolizes the deepest emotions, dramas. And 
in release you can extend both legs for a moment again feel free to stay here longer bend the knees and lift your hips so we can take the block out roll onto your side bring the block this time underneath your upper back between the shoulder blades and you're gonna just here you can bring the soles of the feet together head on the floor or if that's too big of a um, back bend for you you can bring a pillow and bring your head on a pillow or a second block hold here for a moment and the only focus for this pose is letting go so we are allowing gravity to do the work softening the tension in the muscles so that they can give give up the habitual tension so that the chest can naturally open the shoulders can align The breath is the great equalizer. The balance here is between the masculine and the feminine as well. the material and the spiritual the personal and interpersonal the you and the I let's bend the knees again feel free to stay here longer these are all really beneficial poses and you can stay here for all the way up to five minutes, ten minutes. To come out, you're gonna prop your head up, prop onto your elbow, roll onto your side, and come up. And we're gonna go for Shavasana, but a little different of a Shavasana. We're gonna place the block near a wall, and we're gonna bring the legs up the wall, block under the sacrum. Let's not disturb Sophie. Here, squeeze myself 
without disturbing her in. So work yourself onto the wall, onto the block. And this is, of course, final relaxation with an inversion. And also, those are, this is static back a form of a static back exercise in which we allow the hips to balance themselves out by the means of using time and gravity and taking things out of their habitual muscular pattern. So if we have a way of holding our hips a certain way, we take that pattern out of the picture. Now we're going back to the structure and the structure gives an opportunity to the, to the muscles to rebalance themselves so again the only goal here is to continuously relax the muscles again it happens in stages you feel like a drop <sighs> things coming in and then maybe a few minutes down the line again almost like the muscles give up the tension and everything drops in into the structure. Focus on the breath and just letting go, softening, letting go, softening. Feeling the left, feeling the right, feeling the two sides of the body, the masculine and the feminine. Try to have your hips touching the wall so that the heels are over the hips. Again, keeping your awareness on the hips and the sensations there, whatever the feeling there is of balance, imbalance, uh, freedom, restriction, pain, lightness, and so forth, whatever it is, just observing, becoming aware. If things feel off, crooked, something is rotating in, or just whatever you're feeling, feel it. Continuously breathing freedom into the hips, breathing freedom into the hips, exhaling stagnation out. And with freedom comes strength. rules the skin the kidneys the endocrine system so here we're gonna bring our focus on a spinning light 
right above the third eye. And as we inhale, let's bring, absorb that light into the third eye. The light continues to spin, it's a spinning light, shines light onto the entire body, on the body. Illuminates the internal and shines the outside, illuminates the external world. Observing the things that come to light, the things that are illuminated. The dusty corners that are lit now. series as the fabric light is the fabric of existence not just of reality not just of this reality but the fabric of existence the thread that is built into all of existence and as you continue to breathe bring more softness relaxation openness and freedom into the hips more light until you see the hips glowing Not holding yourself here, not holding the muscles, but really dropping in. Letting go and letting the light in. Beginning you see your entire structure as if it's built of light. Your entire body woven from light. The cells. The blood vessels. The bones the connective tissue which is a beautiful web of light seeing ourselves as the light of existence as part of that web of light that network of light a part of it one with it interconnected with all of it without the need to perfect anything to be more to be worthy of it but just being it
in that spinning light that is in your third eye see it now I now outside and inside of the third eye outside of you and still inside somehow both take a big breath in through the third eye through the hips smile and slowly bring yourself here to this present moment illuminated fresh open free gently press your feet into the wall gently lift your body so that you can take the block from underneath you you can rest here for a moment you can grab the block between the hands lower back on the floor and lift the block over the head to just connect that core great roll onto your side and sit up and let's inhale the hands over the head and over the third eye blinking the eyes open bringing that light from the outside in and from the inside out hands over the heart and let's bow to our hearts for their forgiveness compassion generosity strength and love namaste Thank you for joining me today for Libra and I'll see you with the next sign which is going to be the intense Scorpio and I'll also see you on the website with the phenomenal yoga series where we are doing a lot of serious important work with the balance so in a way with a Libra theme to a high degree and if you have any requests let me know remember to share the classes and remember to like and remember to be subscribed and i'll see you next remember to flow with strength and ease